So now we go to the cooling curve. So this is a graph for the cooling of naphthalene. So when we cool it and we record the observations and the temperature reading, we found out that we have this shape. So the region PQ suggests the cooling process where the temperature drops from 90 degree to 80 degree. Obviously, the kinetic energy has become less. They move about with less speed. Right? So when they reach Q, this is the time when liquid will try to transform itself to solid. This is a region of solidification, a mixture of liquid and solid. You see, the heat released during the region QR, we might think that when heat is released, the temperature will go down. No. You see, when we talk about region QR, heat release, let's say I release out uh, 17 joule of energy. Actually, there's another 17 joule of energy being released from the formation. In chemistry, we learn this in uh, thermochemistry in much later chapter. It says that when two substances form, they actually release energy. So this is released out to outside. Remember the conical flask? But this one is from within. Okay, let's draw a diagram to demonstrate this. All right? So let's say this is a substance. When you release 17 joule of energy, when these two particles they come together and form a bond. When they form some bond, they also release 17 joule of energy from within. So whatever goes out is compensated by the inside. So there's no temperature drop at that moment of time because a lot of formation are being formed. You see, because liquid state is far away, but when they go nearer to each other, they form some kind of bonding. When they meet, they do some formation of bonding and they release energy. So at that moment of time, when we consider region of QR, there's no temperature change. Okay? Point Q is the beginning of solidification. Region PQ is the cooling process from liquid state. And then QR is the mixture of liquid and solid. But ultimately, it becomes solid naphthalene completely at point R. When it becomes solid completely at point R, and then further cooling will occur. Further cooling occur along region RS. So you see a drop of temperature reading after R because R, the naphthalene, has become solid completely. Alright? So this is what really happened when we when we melt any substance or we or we freeze any substance. Okay, there comes a moment where there's a transition state. Okay, let's do a simple summary. There comes a time when it has some kind of transition state. Okay, so this transition state is important because for a certain period of time we see no temperature change. So for that certain period of time, same goes here. For a certain period of time, no temperature change. And you realize that the reading here, 80 Celsius on the heating graph and 80 Celsius at the cooling graph is actually the same. This seems to suggest, and it's actually a fact, that melting point and freezing point has the same value. Same numerical value, but of course they are different in terms of their concept. All right. So this is the temperature where the substance start to melt and they go through transition of solid to liquid a mixture of both as for freezing point it, that is the temperature where the substance 
starts to have a mixture of liquid and solid, but ultimately it becomes solid. So from here, we understand that some of the heat energy is used to overcome the forces of attraction. Okay? Heat, in this case, will have two purposes. At times, it is used to heat up, and at times, it is used to overcome forces of attraction. Okay? Overcome forces of attraction. That's all for this activity of heating of naphthalene. I hope you understand in detail the mechanism behind this and you can read more from the reference book and textbook of chemistry. Thank you.